Today I'm going to show you how to create a really cute dog in the style of Romero Brito. If you're new to my channel, please support me by liking this video and be sure to stick around and check out the other amazing art videos and art lessons on my channel, Rainbow Parrot Art. And please subscribe. To learn more about Romero Brito, check out the two minute Romero Brito crash course video that I made. There's a link to this video below. For today's project, I'm using eight and a half by 11 inch paper, but you can use any size paper you like. I'm going to start by lightly penciling in a large oval for the head and a round gumdrop shape for the body. Notice that the body is about the same size as the head. Using these basic shapes to guide me, I'm making a curved line where the top of the head is. Now I'm drawing the left ear and I'm drawing the right ear and going back and erasing the pencil marks I no longer need. I'm making an arch in the middle of the face. I'm making a dot a couple inches below this arch. I'm drawing a diagonal line and then a curved line that connects to the ear. I'm doing the same thing on the other side and then going back and erasing any pencil marks I no longer need. Moving up from the center dot, I'm adding two diagonal lines that will become the nose. I'm drawing a tongue right below the nose. Starting from the nose, I'm drawing a slightly curved line that will become the front legs and another line on the right and then a paw and another curved line on the left and another paw and then going back and erasing any pencil marks that I no longer need. Starting at the bottom of the left cheek, I'm making a curved line that will become the hind leg and a hind foot and adding another curved hind leg and foot on the left. I'm adding two circles for the eyes. Now that I'm done with the basic outline of my dog, I'm going to add some extra lines to break my background up into different shapes. Right behind the dog, I'm making an uneven horizon line. I'm drawing a few more lines on the ground. Romero Brito's art often contains hearts, so I'm adding some hearts to my picture. I'm drawing some polka dots inside the ear and some stripes inside the other ear. If you add stripes and polka dots and other simple patterns to your dog and background, it will look more like a Romero Brito painting. Now that I'm all done drawing my picture, I'm going to add color. As you can see, I've started filling in my drawing with bright contrasting colors. When I color in a facet, I start by outlining around the edge of the area that I'm going to color. This will help me to stay inside the lines when I go back and color in the facet. Notice that I'm coloring in each facet using a different color. I'm using alcohol-based markers to color in my drawing, but you might also use crayons, Crayola markers, or colored pencils. It's up to you. Before coloring the eyes, I'm drawing two circles inside the eyes. These will become the shiny whiteies. When I color in the eyes, I leave these two circles white. I'm filling in the hearts using different shades of reds and pinks, but you can use whatever colors you like. When you're all done coloring, grab a black Sharpie or marker and trace over all of the different shapes in your picture. Romero Brito always outlines his work using a thick black line. If you do this to your work, it will really make the details of your picture pop out and look amazing. I'm using an ultra fine Sharpie to outline these polka dots. I'm using the same extra thin Sharpie to add a simple pattern over here on the left. I'm adding a couple more simple patterns to the background. You can find patterns like these in a lot of Romero Brito's artwork, so you might want to try adding some to your picture as well. 
I hope you love how your drawing turns out. Please be sure to say hi in the comments below, support me by subscribing, and check out the other amazing art lessons on this channel, Rainbow Parrot Art.